You've been thinking it, but you haven't been hearing it. So get ready, because it's live. And things might get a little messy. Don't hold back, spit it out with Jason. Yes, sir. And now your host, Jason. Yes, sir. happening what is going on everyone it's your boy jason yes sir i forgot to take this label off oh my god and i'm doing it now on camera but it don't matter i just don't want it showing shit i don't think i'll be able to get it off i'm tired don't be tired we, we just starting we is just starting don't be tired now say the week technically just started but just starting. it's already long we got an hour to go because it's an hour show. If you don't know, now you know. Welcome to the Spit It Out Studios. It is your host, Jason. Yes, sir. And of course, I have next to me on my left, right hand side. I can't even tell my differences or direction. <laughs> we got Kyra in the house. What's going on, Kyra? Hey, everybody. Oh, so where do we begin? Uh, first off, I guess we could begin by saying, obviously, due to some technical difficulties and stuff, there was no episode out last week, unfortunately. My apologies to all the long-term listeners and everyone that was expecting something. But, you know, sometimes things just happen and sometimes we can't just cook up an episode that quickly. Even though um, we tried. Trust me, we did try. But um, just, you know, it was an unfortunate situation. And enough of that. We here, though, this week. And we planning to not uh, skip another week coming forward or in the future. And if so, I'll definitely make it. You know, advise you guys about it, make it a notice or something. So it was just not out of the blue. And then you guys are looking for an episode. There's nothing there. So if you guys thought you missed something or you were looking around trying to find the episode, there indeed was no episode. So my apologies. Um, whew, so we just went over a long weekend, just past Labor Day weekend. Yeah. Just went by. How did you uh, spend your Labor Day weekend? How did that go by? Did you enjoy it? I did. I actually really got the chance to sit still relax and that's all i really needed nothing else not all mm -hmm. i seen you just, partying a little bit girl that was before you know but mm -hmm. after i just really just went out to eat did a little shopping oh you went relax. shopping yes okay got that money to spend <laughs> <laughs> um no i definitely feel that i didn't do much i actually had to work majority of the weekend um, and then when Labor Day actually hit on Monday, I was just mm. taking it easy to, you know, chill, whatever, hit up the gym and stuff. But besides that, I wasn't doing any of the party. And actually, I did end up going out for, which haven't gone out in the longest, but one of my cousins hit me up and was like, what are you doing? So I had ended up going out with him and um, it was... It was all right. It was interesting. You know, it's been a little while since I actually been out there and stuff, but it was a nice time. It was just a nice time getting out the house, doing a little something. That's always nice. But um, interesting to say the least, I guess. But yeah, no, other than that, I didn't do, I pretty much stayed on my ass inside for Labor Day weekend. Um, that's it. I don't really, these long weekends that be coming up when there is those, like those holiday weekends and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I can't even, I can't remember the last time I actually like went super hard or anything during those weekends i feel like a lot of the times i do just like chill chill it out that's because you ain't going with me oh please whatever <laughs> <laughs> but you just said you wasn't doing nothing would you say what you just said you wasn't doing nothing no i actually like even on my off day i end up going into work oh you did mm, yeah short staff was like make some money why not Exactly. Go ahead and get that bag while you can because it ain't going to always last. So, you know, got to make sure you can find it some way, somehow. And when the opportunity approaches, why not take it? Why not? That's how I see it these days, too. And like I said, that's how I felt. I worked all weekend long. Um, I was going to hint on something about me going out. but Oh, that's what I was going to say. Oh, my God. Let me tell you. So I went out, right? And tell me why, you know, minding my business, doing my thing, sipping on a little sip or whatever. And I felt something on my arm. <laughs> yes, girl. I felt something on my arm. I looked. Tell me why, girl. There was a fucking roach on me. Oh, it no, no. Yes. Mm -mm. It unclined up. I, mean, I never had that happen before. A roach on my body. And it was on my arm. Scared the hell out of me. 
Yeah, I'm extra. I probably would have had a seizure or some shit. <laughs> Not a whole like, seizure. <laughs> uh-uh. But I seen like, that shit. No. I was like, no, I don't. I I hope I didn't just see what I thought I just saw. But no, it. I had to like fucking flick goosebumps. that shit off or whatever. They ain't roaches in here, so you gotta worry no, about no, that. No, no, no. I'm talking about like in general, like just even thinking about just something. Yeah. Problem. And I'm not really the type of person to be scared of bugs, but no. But a roach is a different story. That's totally different. And I was just like, oh, hell to the no. What the fuck is going on right here? I said, I I know why I don't be going out anymore because these dirty ass places like this. And then too, it's like the bugs down here are huge. Definitely. Like, Definitely out here in Florida, the bugs are a different story. Not sure where y'all are from, the listeners or anything like that. But if you've been here in Florida, now some of these bugs is big, and some of these bugs I don't even know what they are. They just be creating shit. They be they be creating shit, right? <laughs> they be mutating be shit and all that. No, but for real, like I feel like as the years go by and that things get more interesting and the things that you start seeing is like I don't remember this as a kid. Mm-mm. Oh, mm. we did. We talked about that. What we talked about, um, you know. You've seen a lot of stuff that you haven't seen. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's so true. Like, as time goes by and that, things get crazier I don't, and yeah, crazier. I don't even remember a lot of stuff like, yeah. As you was a kid? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, you, you don't got no flashbacks or just... No, 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 no. Like, <laughs> no, definitely memory-wise. But I'm talking about, like, seeing certain bugs growing up or, like, you know... I guess. I guess. Um, so we did talk about, though, in a couple episodes ago when we were talking about first dates, I think, right? Or whatever... I think we hinted on that, right? I don't know. At first, day, oh, we were saying what's doing too much. Then we're talking about like first base, second base, all oh, that. Oh, yes, definitely. I remember that. So I did want to know what your thoughts are. What's your opinion? What do you actually consider? What is a first date? Like, what what do you have to be doing or whatever to consider actually a date? Like, are you just going out with someone or it has to be more so set up where it's like, okay, we doing this. You interested in each other. What do you think is actually considered a first date? Well, especially dealing with me, that has to be planned out. You got to set that up. And don't, we're not doing no clubs. We talked about this, though. Like, yeah. nowhere loud. I mean, it wouldn't, I mean, a park thing wouldn't be too bad, but mm-hmm. see, I'm greedy. You got to feed me. You got to do something fun. Like, but do you think it has to be announced? Or, like, if you were just going out, someone, like I said, someone hit you up or whatever, and y'all maybe been talking or whatever, but you, like, just hanging out, do you consider that a date? Or it's just no. like, no, we just socialize. Hanging out is hanging out. I look at it just like that. So is there like certain things set in place or, you know, mm-hmm. certain factors that it's like, okay, this is a date? It needs to be agreed on and okay. said. No surprises. No, I mean, like, depending on how long you're talking to a person, if they say, oh, yeah, I want to take you on a date or you just. So it has to be announced. Yeah. Let okay. me know because depending on where you take me, mm-hmm. I'm dressed accordingly. Because a lot of exactly. places you have to wear a certain attire in order to get in. Exactly. And what you're wearing right now, I don't know if you're working at Olive Garden or if you're going to. <laughs> I'm about to play with you. Hold on. Uh, uh, I'm like, oh, that works today. Don't play with me. I'm like, sure. <laughs> I'm about to have to place an order real quick with that. Um, no, I'm just joking. It looks nice, though. If you guys can't see from the camera, she do look like she's working at Olive Garden. But it got a little sparkle to First it and everything. <laughs> I'm not about to play with you. So you're wearing that for a first date? No. That's just you. No, that's just really cute. It's just my like, you know, my little office, office little vibes. Outfit. You know, mm-hmm. a little business but my casual. My shoes are really cute. You should have seen them. Like, not they, the shoes that you showed me earlier. No, the different wait. pair of shoes. Yeah, they're different, oh, okay. and they match the shirt. Really cute, really sparkly. You know? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, but this is for work. So, why did you get in all done up? I mean, like, depending on how I'm feeling. Mm, I guess depending on who coming by. Like, nah, <laughs> Good night. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I'm just joking. <laughs> Listen, uh, I was real tired, but you're trying to like laugh me up right now. You're trying to wake me up. You got to get, uh, we doing the podcast. Let's spit it oh out. We ain't got time God. to sleep. We, sleeping time is later on. You know what I'm saying? We got to give it to the like people. This baby. is what the people are here for. It's they come once a week to hear what we got to talk about and what we spitting out. They ain't here worried about how many hours of sleep you got. <laughs> All right. So you've heard of um before i get into that actually because we got a couple things to get into this episode and we're probably gonna be all over the place like i think i'm gonna start doing more so we like maybe it's like not one topic but kind of a theme and then we just fall into that for the rest of the episode but we'll get into that to another time what i want to bring up to attention um what's your now we talked also about uh, kinks and fetishes on one of the episodes before a couple episodes back when we went through the ABCs and all the kinks and fetishes like that. And remember, F was foot fetish. Mm-hmm. So, if someone was approaching you or whatever, and they wanted to see your feet, 
<laughs> um, but say you like online or whatever, and they want to see. And now I'm asking for a friend. So <laughs> I love when people say that. So um, <laughs> uh, what would be like if someone's asking like they're willing to pay to see your feet? Do you have what would be your starting price? What would be my starting price? Throw out a number. What would you? What, if you know? I was to do like foot pics, yeah. If you went throw out a foot pic, you know what would be the price? What are you going to throw out there? If you willing to send a picture to someone, eighty two hundred. Eighty two hundred. Okay. And you just I showing mean, like what? I, th- I think they like to see like the bottom, like the sole of your feet. You throwing in both feet, just one foot. You get one. You get one for uh uh-uh. uh. You get one eighty dollars a hundred for both. <laughs> <laughs> like, Damn, oh, I would have been a little higher for both, but okay. No, listen, I don't, I don't know nothing about any of that stuff, but people really do. People really do that. I wouldn't have done it though. I mean, I'm not okay. saying I'm that desperate for money, but I mean, if that's what they like. Well, I'm just asking I love for a friend. You. you know. <laughs> no, actually, so this question Should I'm I asking you. I myself, but I don't know. Not really, because it was kind of in the same ballpark, I would say, what I was thinking, because let me just give a little back history, a little backstory to you. So I got hit up recently, you know, on one of these apps, and they approached me talking about they was um, they was willing to pay to suck my toes, but we wasn't going that far, because I ain't letting nobody suck my toes, and you ain't paying for it. First of all, you ain't getting that close to me, but I said, I hit them back with, like, um, you could still pay for a picture. So they was like, oh, okay, I love that. <laughs> so they was like, yeah, I would love that. I said, all right. So I was like, um, you got Cash App? And they was like, yeah. So I said, okay, it's going to be $100. So I said 100 bucks for the foot pick. So now they thought they were getting more than just the feet in the picture. So I said, no. And I, I confirmed it. I said, no, no, no. It's just going to be feet. That's all it's going to be. And so then they hit me back with like, oh, um, no, I can get that cheaper. I have a friend that's um, in Mexico or something, and they'll send me a lot more for cheaper. I was thinking, well, first off, you can get a lot of things cheaper in Mexico. So oh. there goes that. Mm. And also, if you ain't willing to pay the price, then buy. You wanted something I was, you know, willing to. I wish I've never done before. I can't say that. Mm-hmm. I've never, ever taken a picture of my feet to send someone. Like, we talked about sending nudes and all that stuff. Never, Don't even uh, participate in that. But I was like, you know, a feet pick is a feet pick. It ain't much. And if you're willing to pay for it, why not? Let me make an extra couple of dollars for just sending me, you know, picture of my feet. But it didn't end up going through. Like they said, they weren't willing to pay the price. So I ended up just blocking their ass. I said, that's that. That's the end of the story. I'll block delete. Mm-hmm. I'll block delete. <laughs> but I was, that's funny that you said about $80 to $100. So I wasn't way off because at first I was thinking too, I was like, hmm. What should the range be? And then I was also thinking like that, where it was like, do I throw in one foot? And they'd be like, well, 100 for the one foot. If you want two, maybe I'll cut you a deal, 150 for the two. I'm just saying. But why not, right? I feel like that don't that ain't hurting you, right? If you're going to take a picture, set it for someone, and they're willing to pay for your feet. I mean, I guess not. You ain't into it. Nope. <laughs> she said, nope, not me. But it, like I said, it didn't go through. But if anyone else want a picture of my feet, you know, the cash app ready. I can send you that cash app real quick. We talking at least $100. But now after this conversation, the price is probably going to go up. So you better mm. get it while you can. He said um, it's a special. It was a special goal. I was Labor Day weekend sale, you know, one time only. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, if you're still interested, you know, come talk to me or whatever. Hit me up in my DMs. and You might, you might just get lucky. All mm. right. So talking about pricing and everything. Now, you've known what's been going around. We've talked about it off camera, but about the meet and greets going around, the Chris Brown meet and, uh, mm-hmm. meet and greets, and the people paying $1,000 to take their type of picture, whatever kind of picture, and he's willing to take the picture with them. You're familiar, mm-hmm. right? Okay. So, did you see now, Bow Wow was trying to get in this? I didn't see that. Oh, okay. So, Bow Wow came out, and if you guys are familiar with Bow Wow, you're probably just too young, um, but... but Chris Brown's was $1,000 for a meet and greet. Girl, we recording the show and you'll be here playing bullshit. Cause no. Because I got to look this up. I got to see what this is looking like. Uh, so if you guys are familiar, Chris Brown, he had a meet and greet special or so. $1,000 you pay and you get a picture with him. I don't know if it included anything else also with the picture. Um, I think it was just a picture. I'm not sure. But it was like their, the fans' choice of what type of picture they wanted to take. So if they wanted to be bending over and him smacking their ass or if he wanted to be all up on them or whatever he was seeming like willing to do it and was taking the picture now bow wow was trying to jump into the fun and he's coming out with his own meet and greet package it's called the diamond package starting at a thousand dollars now his includes a few different things so we can tell you what it includes 
It was the Bow Wow Diamond VIP package, including the ultimate hang with Bow Wow, a 30 to 45 minute personal hang and tour conducted by Bow Wow. Only 10, only 10 fans mm. in each city will get behind the scenes look at backstage areas, lounge, tour bus, and more. A personal meet and greet and photo with Bow Wow. Attend the pre-show VIP lounge party. Digital download of your meet and greet with Bow Wow. Uh, souvenir VIP laminated and lanyard. Commemorative VIP hoodie. Exclusive drawstring bag. And access early to merchandise shopping with special item av- available for sale only to VIP guests. So first off, I'm just going to say things that are listed in here are basically all the same. You said it in the first bullet point, which you get in. Also, it's not even much. They're throwing it in there like, oh, you get a digital download of the picture. Well, I'm paying $1,000. I expect to get the picture. I'm not taking mm-hmm. the picture and not getting it at all. Also, an exclusive drawstring bag, that ain't nothing. You know what that is, a drawstring bag. That's yeah, like just one little, of those, mm-hmm. those little gym sack type of bags. Like, that ain't nothing at all. And then a souvenir VIP laminated and laminate and lanyard. Really? That's like some bullshit things that they're throwing out. But anyways, it's going for $1,000. So if you guys are interested, you can go ahead and meet and greet with Bow Wow. Get your pictures done. So this went all over, um, kind of viral on social media, on Twitter. And people was going crazy. Talking about it ain't worth it. Um, like Bow Wow ain't um, up to that celebrity you know, criteria anymore like that. To be even putting these prices out there. Mm-hmm. So this one guy, he goes by the name um, on Twitter. His... Uh, handle is fat Haitian, fat underscore Haitian, John St. Patrick, I guess his name is. He asked the question, would you like uh, $2,900 in food stamps or dinner with Bow Wow? Mm. What you saying? You want to get some food stamps. <laughs> That's what majority of the people were saying. And I can't. No to him, but. Exactly. No, I'm like, sorry, that ain't worth it. First off, what he's throwing in there and all that in the picture and thousand dollars. No, I can, yeah. I the twenty cap for the stuff that he probably um, selling. The twenty nine hundred dollars gonna go much further than the picture. I mean, then dinner with a bow wow. Mm-hmm. And not even saying where he taking you out to. So it's probably not even gonna come close to that. I mean, you have to be a diehard friend, a diehard fan to do that. Yeah. But the, it's just at the end of the day, it's still like supporting. You know what I mean? You could support in other ways. That just sounds money hungry. Yeah. That's what I think. It don't even sound. But okay, so this is going to lead me to the question. What is your limit and what celebrity would you pay for an exclusive meet and greet? And what are your expectations? So if you had the choice, if we talk like, you know, you had to pay some serious money, but what artist would it be or whatever type of celebrity, even if it didn't have to do with music and it was a meet and greet and they had to throw out a... Uh, they're willing to do this and that. What are your expectations from it and how much are you willing to pay? That is a very great question. Okay. I have a few. Oh. But so let's go down the list. Who's your number one? I didn't even put it in order. But well, we'll just talk about because you mentioned it last time. What was it? Kevin Gates on the podcast you said, right? Hold on. Wait so, a minute. I forgot about that one. But, um, <laughs> how you forget about that one? Miss, he's supposed to be in Orlando. Okay, so, so he's like, we going to say this. He's in Orlando. He's doing a meet and greet. His meet and greet, we'll just say the same thing. It's $1,000. Are you willing to pay the $1,000 to do the meet and greet? No. No? Okay. So what would then be no, your like, limit? Honestly... <laughs> Don't, don't say no $50. <laughs> no, I wasn't going to say no $50. I wasn't going to say no $50. It's honestly, I probably feel like the most I spend probably on like meeting some of these people, probably five to six hundred. Because at the end of the day, I look at it as like they're regular people just like us. They just got a little mm-hmm. bit more than you. You know what I mean? If you catch them in public, you see them in public. Mm-hmm. But I'm not going to say I'm one of those groupie, diehard fans yeah. type of people. Don't get me wrong. I love me some Kim. I love me some Megan Thee Stallion. I love me some Sada Baby. Okay. You know what I mean? So, are any, okay, so you said about five, six hundred, whatever, Kevin Gates. Any other other artists that you just the named? Same price. That's the same price. Okay, so nothing higher than that. Okay. Now, what are your expectations? Just the picture? Or are you trying to, you know, hang out with them after for a little bit? You hope it's a, like an hour conversation? Like, what else are you All hoping? Right, I feel like, and a lot of times, especially with meeting these people, I feel like you're going to have to talk some business because, I mean, what is it that you... You know, doing how you get to where you got, you know, I don't know. There ain't going to be no no regular, no regular, like, stuff that you can do by yourself. Yeah. Or with random people. So if they offer to take you out to dinner, you, you like, that's worth it? 
Yeah, if you want to talk about money. If you want to talk about money, okay. Yeah. But nothing more than that. Like, teach me the game, ghost. Yeah, but that's like if you want to get in the same career that they're in. I mean, it's not about what you know. It's about who you know. And they probably know a lot of people that's doing whatever you're interested in. Okay. You know what I mean? Smart thinking. Well, we're going to go to commercial. We'll be right back. Don't go nowhere.